Hey guys, SD here. Welcome back to the video. And today we'll be talking some Toku news. I'm going to be talking about the New York Comic Con Bandai America toys. I'm also going to be talking about the Ranger Keys set, the Rainbow Edition. Basically, the Toku Ranger Keys. So, this is my first episode of talking with Toku. If you want to see more, leave a like, file, like, do some more. We're on the road to 1K. Subscribe so I can get to 1K subs. So, time for the intro. Let's get Toku and let's get Toku talking. It's going to be so much fun. We. <laughs> Scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Okay, everybody, in Power Ranger news, New York Comic Con is near. Bandai is getting all hyped up for New York Comic Con. So, of course, you know that Bandai already has some stuff planned for New York Comic Con. So, we're gonna go through what they got. I'm gonna give a quick personal opinion, right? So, first of all, First of all, we got some more Tommy stuff. Of course, we have the limited edition Tokyo Vinyl Money Warford Power Ranger White Ranger. This is an NYCC exclusive. Uh, I don't think they've done the White Ranger in a Tokyo Vinyl form, unless I check real quick. And in that case, let's check White Ranger to Tokyo Vinyl. So they done that before. I spelled Tokyo Vinyl wrong. Um, well, they have actually done it before in San Diego Comic Con. So, I remember now, yeah, they actually did that. So, they're doing one for New York Comic Con, too. So, not really that important. But what is important is this, which is the limited edition Money Warfare Power Rangers, the movie Dino Charger Power Pack. I didn't expect them to do this, but they already plan to do the Megazord, so I hear. They did the movie more for Tommy, which is obviously in the packaging. And yeah, so look at this. Charge it up. Charge pack. 1993. Unavailable outside of this collection. All stick down to activate cheat yours, which inserted the net charge more for, including an exclusive sound, which is probably exclusive and legendary. So the Dino Chargers have sounds, the toy line, they also have it in the scanner app. It says necessary for all MMPR. Fans and also Dino Charge fans alike. Only 500 are produced. And how many did this produce? 500 as well. So this will be $30. I think with the same price as the San Diego Comic Con one, this will be 25 So not really much. So this, this is just the same. This is quite different. Let me just take a pic. Let me show you guys a picture right here. You guys are not going to see it that well if I just zoom in a little bit. As it's the packaging includes Tommy. And on this one, um, you see all the slots for the Rangers and the movie suits alike and we'll go what did I just do oh, there, are, there it is hello so you see the movie suits uh, you see all the Billy Rocky Tommy Kimberly Aisha and Adam so I'll just write the name for the Rangers and a slot for the Megazord which is the Ninja Megazord that we see in the movie but the one we see here in the picture is the Ninja Megazord using the show because the one in the movie sucks ass I don't, can't read what this says the exclusive part but I can tell it says on, on, on the lines on um, down charge more for compatibility and all that stuff so Let's just get out of there. So, well, oh God. So the next part of this extravagance. So we got the MMPR Legend Legacy Power Morpher, which, if you guys know, this came out a while ago, while, while, while ago, and it's just now coming back. This is a re-release, exclusive when you're coming. I don't know how many are gonna be sold, but it'll be under the price of the dust. So if you guys seen the Legacy Morpher? There's gonna be no change to this. Not really Power Ranger, but we got Pac-Man uh, Connect and Play. I forgot uh, Power and Play. I don't know. So you just plug up to your TV and you place the Pac-Man stuff. It's just pretty simple stuff. Connect and Play, play Pac-Man. Got a Doraemon Vinyl Figure, which is the same one probably is from Comic Con San Diego. But this is a One Piece Monkey D Luffy figure, which is exclusive to NYCC and be fifty dollars. So oh, and here's the final Power Ranger thing. Visit any Toys R Us store with limited in edition gift with purchase. I have a, that golden Dinosaur more, but this is all in silver. I, th I think there's some glitter on here too. So for 20 bucks and more, offer valid until the 30th. Oh. Oh, this is the one I saw. So they're not doing they're not doing the movie Megazord. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong info. Lamal. But here's the here's the Dwarfer Dino Charger. It's all in silver and stuff, so that, that's all good. So, that's what Bandai got for NYCC. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. But let's talk Sentai. Um, Sentai got another Ranger Key set. You guys seen the Lost Lost Ranger Key Edition set, whatever, where it has all the 
Senta heroes that are missed out on except for the one that was Phantom Ranger, which still doesn't count, so America still got that Phantom Ranger. Heck yeah. But I'm reading this from Token Nation, link description down below, but basically, oh, uh, Token Yuji got their own key set. Now, a lot of people are speculating about how this was going to work because, and, um, by my conclusions, obviously, uh, we didn't think they were going to get Token Yuji set because we were well into Ninja. Ninja is just a few months away from ending, around, I would say, five months. So, we wouldn't expect to get Token Yuji set by now. Uh, but... Kyuuji had their set, I think in October, which was announced in October, so Kyuuji was still airing around that time. So obviously, it was kind of good timing, but this, kind of bad timing, because uh, Kyuuji is over already, well, over, but we still have it, and let's just take a look at the Bandai page. So we got Tokyuji set, we got Tokyuji Go, and we got all the seven main keys, which is obvious, because of course, this is the Ranger Key Set Rainbow Edition. And some Japanese stuff, and we got the line changes. So we're gonna see the line changes in sexy, just the five keys. But here we go. We got Tokyo Ichigo's keys, which go blue, yellow, green, and pink. Nigos, Nigos, Sango, Yogos, and Gogos. So we got all their lines. You're gonna see them a few more times. Once red and blue, whatever. And Nigos goes to Sango Go, and then we got the gold, the orange guy, <laughs> forgot his name. And we got Tokyo Movie Set. From the movie, the SOS movie, and this is where it kind of gets weird because we, I, you know, I expected Bandai just to do the main keys, and I was like, you know, that's it. Maybe they can put like a sticker on it so we can make it like change it or something. Maybe like a piece and the thing that we can change, like a piece of plastic piece. But no, they have to make separate, different keys for each of the line changes. And now they have the ones from the movie, which just are. Like, they have some anime characters on them or something. I don't even know. I haven't seen the movie, but they look pretty weird. Especially Tokyo Go-Go's, which look honestly just so atrocious and weird. But what do you expect from Sentai? And this thing is not really centered in the picture, but whatever. And we also got the Tokyo Zeros and the negative 100 because we have to have every single version of the Tokyo users out there and don't forget we got the, the dark one with glitter on it jazz and stuff right here looks for track that around Tokyo Ichigo as the orange guy and the rainbow one the rainbow one looks super cool honestly that Tokyo Ichigo is it's like translucent and then we got all the colors in here super awesome and we got from the new movie the, the V cinema we got Tokyo we got them called Tokyo 7 and we got exclusive the time capsule. According to Tokyo Nation, it's gonna be voiced by what was the guy's name? Oh, Kape Cap. I don't even, I don't know speak Japanese guys. Kape Yamaguchi, which is the same guy that just took you voice. Which is still a super duper shame that we're probably not going to get the guy that did the Gokaiju voices. Since these are Ranger keys, I was kind of disappointed. The Kuriyuji ones didn't have it. I'm probably disappointed that these go have it because they're probably just say Tokyo Ichigo, Tokyo Ichigo, like the ones in the show. And sound capsules, you know. So you guys can tell it's gonna be. I think the pre-orders are starting there. They'll be out next year. And look at the twenty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine yen, which is equivalent to American dollars, two hundred and fifty-one American dollars. I can't really show you here, but just boop. There you go, two hundred fifty-one American dollars compared to the Kyuuji one, which was only one hundred thirty-five American dollars. So this is a little, one hundred thirty-five is a little, a little more than half of the price that Tokyuji set is. So, um, we got 40 individual rage keys, every line change, all the Galaxy Line SOS movie Tokyo Eaters, the Dark Tokyo Ichigo, and the Rainbow Tokyo Ichigo are all represented in the set. A special range key sound box with the new voice clips will be included. 30, oh, basically 30,000 yen, which tore for the American doll. So, this is a lot. So, tell me, guys, in the comments below, will you be getting the Tokyo Rain Ranger set, Rainbow Edition set? I don't know. I think Bandai went a little overboard this one, adding every single Tokyuji there is possible in the world. If they did this, they might as well do every combo for Kamen Rider O's, you know, just so you can have every single possibility. But that is it for today on Talk in Tokyo. Leave a like for more, and I'll probably talk some more Tokyo later. Huh. I'm gonna watch some more Tokyo now. Stay, stay Tokyo, everybody. Nya, nya, nya. So funny.